Today we're making a homemade sweet and sour sauce that's gonna take you all of five minutes to throw together and then you're gonna be left with a delicious dip for your egg rolls, just like me right now. What's up everybody? Welcome to The Foreign Fork. My name is Alexandria and this is The Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today we're making a Chinese and Chinese American specialty sweet and sour sauce. This recipe actually doesn't use any ketchup like most recipes you'll see online so it's a fun variation that I think you're really gonna like. So let's get started. The first thing that you're gonna need is six ounces of pineapple juice. And if you get the cans of pineapple juice, it's just the equivalent of one little can. You're also gonna need one third of a cup of apple cider vinegar and one half cup of sugar. To that, you're also gonna add one tablespoon of soy sauce and three drops of food coloring. So if you're using ketchup, like most of the recipes that you'll see online, this is naturally gonna be colored red. And as we know, most sweet and sour sauces that we eat are colored red. This recipe doesn't have any red ingredients, so we're gonna add red food coloring. However, I thought I had red food coloring, but I actually have pink food coloring, so we may be having some hot pink sweet and sour sauce today instead of red, but either way, it's gonna taste the same. It'll just look even more fun, I think. We're gonna put that in a medium pot over medium to high heat and stir everything together, and then just wait a couple minutes for it to come to a boil. So as you can see, our sweet and sour sauce is starting to bubble a little bit. So now I have three tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of cornstarch. We're gonna mix those together and make what we call a slurry. Make sure that all the cornstarch dissolves before you add it into the pot or else you will get little clumps of cornstarch, which is no good. So make sure that it all dissolves into the water before you put it into the pot. All right, now we're gonna add the cornstarch and water mixture in here and let it stir for a couple more minutes because the cornstarch is gonna cause this to start to thicken a little bit. Holy moly, that was quick. <laughs> and you're done. That is ready for some delicious egg rolls or crab ragoons, which both of which I have videos of on my YouTube channel. So if you're gonna make those crab ragoons or egg rolls, make sure that you make this sweet and sour sauce to go with it. That literally took five minutes to make and now I have a delicious bowl of sweet and sour sauce that I can eat with all of my yummy egg rolls. So I am a very happy gal right now. If you guys make this recipe at home, don't forget to leave a comment in this comment section below letting me know what you thought. And if you need instructions on how to make the recipe, you can find that in the description of the video below here too. Don't forget to check out all of the other videos that are on my YouTube channel. We have some delicious Chinese and Chinese American recipes, including chicken feet, crab rangoons, egg rolls, and now the sweet and sour sauce too. So there's lots of good options and lots of good options from other countries too. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put some culture in your kitchen this week and I will see you next week.